good everybody hope that you guys are all having a blessed day and guys if you're not aware gatorade has not only released who just won the gatorade player of the year which i have a made a video on them if you want to watch that you can click right here but they've also broken down each state's player of the year and i've already covered arizona and delaware state player of the year again if you want to watch those videos right here but i asked you guys in the delaware video which state do you guys want to see me cover next and the majority of you guys wanted me to cover California, my home state. And so you know I'm more than happy to oblige. Especially when the Gatorade State Player of the Year for California is potentially one of the best high school quarterbacks I've ever seen. And I'm not the only one seeing that today's player won the USA Today Player of the Year as well as the Polynesian Athlete of the Year. I'm talking of course about St. John Bosco's own DJ Uigalele. And I'm sorry for mispronouncing your last name. I think I got it right though, but if you guys, if I mispronounced it, be sure to put the phonetic way of saying it down below. DJ is a 6'5", 240 pound quarterback for St. John Bosco High School, who not only play in the toughest division in California, but they also finish as the second best team in the country. DJ finished off his junior year campaign throwing for 3,400 yards for 48 touchdowns to only seven interceptions. That's almost a 19 yard average completion while also maintaining a 70% completion percentage. My man also got it done on the ground too, running for 300 yards as well as another six touchdowns. So I wanna show you guys why my man DJ won so many awards as well as why I consider him one of the best high school quarterbacks that I have ever seen. So let's get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's take a look at what the top quarterback in the class of 2020 is looking like. Like, oh, these are only his first five. Wait, hold up. First five games, 20 touchdowns, 1,100 yards with a 78 completion percentage. Bruh, this dude is this dude is an absolute beast. It, it was crazy because when I was watching the um, when I was watching the Bosco modern day game, Bryce Young is really talented. He's really good. He he can do things that Bryce or that um, DJ can't as far as running the ball. But when you just look at DJ's overall throwing motion, it, it just look at it. It's beautiful. It, it's straight over the top. It's dime season. It's just beautiful. That's all it is. The fake. The fake. He's out here, bruh. Like this dude looks this dude reminds me like of Drew Brees as far as just like his poise. Like everything about him just screams professional in high school. Like it's crazy. And the dude is big too. 6'5, 240? Yeah, nah. And he, it's just dime season out here. Like he's just gonna be dropping dives left, right, and center. There you go. Hey, we're gonna get that. <laughs> he just the t like. There are just certain things that when you see it in high school quarterbacks, it's just ridiculously impressive. Not only does he have the cannon, but he also could put touch on the ball. He can put zip on the ball, like right there. Like he could just get it out there. There's the outside outside of being a dual third quarterback. Like while yes, DJ he can move a little bit, but his 40 time, at least what is said, it's like a five second, like a five one. So in high school, yeah, you'll be able to kind of make some people miss, but at the next level, that that's just not happening with a five second 40. But you don't need to. This dude is just the purest thrower. Like, he reminds me of just how pure of a thrower JT Daniels was, but bigger. And that's scary to say. And also, USC is his number one team looking like, so, hey, you already know. Once, once, once JT does his thing, once he gets his Heisman and then goes pro, we're going to be bringing DJ right in to go get his Heisman again, then going pro. Go get that, yeah. Yeah. He's just too nice. Like, he really is just too nice. Like, I've seen maybe two throws where the, where the wide receiver has to adjust to the ball. Other than that, it's just right on the numbers. Boom. Perfectly in stride. Yeah, nah. Let's see, let's see this pocket awareness. 
stepping up. There you go. I like how he keeps both hands on the ball too when he steps up. He just looks so calm in the pocket. Stepping up. You see all of my quarterbacks, when he's stepping up, he's keeping both hands on the football. That is so important. That's how so many that's how so many fumbles happen is by not keeping both hands on the ball when you're stepping up into the pocket. Most guys, they step up and they start freaking out. They put the ball in one hand and then all the DB or all the defensive end has to do is just hit that arm and that ball is coming out. I don't care how strong of hands you got. So him being able to hold on to both hands or hold on to the ball with both hands is super important. Okay, make it a Okay, I see you. He can move a little bit. He can move a little bit out there. I see you. There you go. Take it off. Oh, get that block. Dang you. <laughs> Bruh. That, you can see that block coming from a mile away. Get off. Get off of me. You don't need to have blazing speed when you can just make people outright miss. Nope, where are you going? Run him over, there you go. Let, let's see it. Yeah, no, when, when he needs to put zip on the ball, he can effortlessly. He has one of those Aaron Rodgers type throwing motions where it just looks like he's like he's just flicking the ball and it just goes flying like he, it just kind of like just kind of snaps his wrist and it just goes launching there's there's like no wasted motion with any of this dude's moves like it, it's just all just precise and he reads the defense really well too he reads it quickly which is even more important putting it to the like the ball placement is so money it's just, it's little things that like like you really have to like understand football to, to get it on those fade routes as a wide receiver you want it to be on the outside because that you're giving your quarterback space to make that throw look he's going to lead him to the outside like bro five yard outs those are some of the hardest throws to make he's just making it with ease Yo, I, see like, like these highlights, they might not look super impressive to like the average football fan, but like I've watched, like I literally watch highlights all day. This is so fun to watch. His ball placement, accuracy, and power are on another level. <laughs> yo, yo, DJ, yo, I, I hope he goes to USC because this dude is about to be a straight up monster at the next level. Here, I also want to show you guys the game where he went for six touchdowns versus Oaks Christian, which, if you guys didn't know, is the school that Kayvon Thibodeau goes to, who is currently, oh, oh, okay, there you go, who is currently the second ranked, uh, second best player in the country and is, uh, going to Oregon. He just committed, uh, two days ago, I believe, this from when this video comes out. Give me your ankles, boy, sit down. Like, his catch to release speed is actually insane. The ball placement. It, 
like, come on, man, come on. It, it's just, it's just money. Like, it, if his receivers have even a step on any DB, he's gonna make that throw ten out of ten times, bro. Like, hold up. Like, come on. Like, this is just, this is not fair. Like, come on. Look at this window that he throws into so effortlessly. This, this is not a big window for high school football. Like, you put this a little bit too far out, the wide receiver more than likely is not gonna make this play just because of this guy. And then if you throw it anywhere near behind him, like that's just getting absolutely knocked down. So his ball placement is just on another level. Leading his receiver upfield on the jailbreak screen, super important. Bro, like he's hitting his dude perfectly in stride. For all of my quarterbacks out there and all of my receivers, you, you will understand just how impressive this highlight tape truly is. Just look at the accuracy look at the ball placement look at how effortless he's he's making these wide receivers catches look like they don't, they don't have to slow down any it's just boom perfectly in stride and he's just gone like come on there's a reason why this dude's the number one quarterback in the class of 2020. oh let's see it dj let's see what you got nice angle let's go <laughs> so as you guys can see dj is one of the most promising quarterback talents i've ever seen coming out of high school literally the only thing that he's missing from his game is just crazy elusiveness which he doesn't need when you have that much accuracy and that much power and also he can make guys miss it's just like he's not going to be out here like kyler murray just running all around the place but his accuracy more than makes up for it. What'd you guys think of DJ? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with that all being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 500 likes? Cause that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see. Cause that's all I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with a a a yeah. All right, you guys, with it all being said, hope that you guys all have a blessed, blessed, blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.